We got the man, Kyle Higashioka. Dude, thank you so much for hopping on the feed. Are you ready to check out some of your top performing social media posts? Let's go. First one, we got the world's most powerful home run hitter in Kyle Higashioka. <laughs> oh yeah. He was like all the rage for the Little League World Series. I mean, his intro video was just epic. I mean, it's just like, I hit dingers. So we had to, we had to have him on the field and as soon as I knew he was coming, yeah, I had to get a picture of him. Did you get his autograph that day? Because I know he was signing for some players. I can't remember, honestly, but it was it was really fun meeting him. <laughs> Next one, here you are. So here's Big Kyle as a kid. That was back when we lived in Northern California for one year. But, um, you know, just a good, good family photo. Dad, my little brother. Big time beach guy, pool guy, what do you got? Yeah, I used to surf a lot, so just uh, good memories. Cool, love it. Next one. If you guys ever check out Kyle's Instagram post, you have some of the best captions. No. And this might be one of them right here. I think that was in uh, 2020 when we just got back. So I think, you know, I saw that picture pop up on my little feed from the, um, from the media. They send us a bunch of pictures. And I was like, huh, <laughs> looks like I'm beating Judge in a foot race. This one was really good, this caption too. Oh yeah. <laughs> I remember, I think somebody else posted that and I got a hold of the picture and, uh, you know, just me in the background, I figured I'd kind of steal the show. <laughs> Baseball's taking you to so many great places and this is one of them at Fenway Park. You got a chance to write your name on the Green Monster. How special of a moment was this for you? That was like right after I got called up for the first time and um, the Japanese media actually wanted to cover me signing the, the inside of the monster, so. I didn't realize that was a thing, but I uh, went and signed it. And any chance to get to the big leagues is just an incredibly special moment. So, and that was in 2017. So, have you gone back to see if your name's still there? I have no clue where it is. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, there's thousands, probably maybe even tens of thousands of signatures in there. So, I have no clue where it is now. Dude, this picture. So, you rock the pinstripes really well, and you also rock the red, white, and blue so good too. Yeah. Um, for me, uh, just representing my country is something that I've always wanted to do. Uh, even even since I was a kid, I got I wasn't quite good enough to make the team back then. I still feel like I'm not really good enough to be on this team, but um, you know I was lucky enough for the opportunity, and and so just incredibly proud to be wearing the stars and stripes. Love it. Also, too, like dude, your hard work has paid off so much, and here you are with some other former Yankees and a current Yankee coach too, but some of the greatest on the field right there. So you've been able to represent this organization so well and your country. Yeah, um, that was a cool photo. Just, you know, kind of the Yankees past and present. Uh, we actually forgot uh, Rags, Dave uh, Rigetti. Yeah, uh, I think he was like still in the outfield or something. That's where we took the uh, team photo. All right, next one we got Liverpool. So they sent you this. This is a team signed piece of memorabilia. Like what, how did this come about? I've been a big Liverpool fan since high school, and I supported them before the Red Sox guys bought them, so it's not my fault. But uh, <laughs> somebody had, with connections to their front office, uh, found out that I was a, a big fan, and they they had them, you know, somebody in there sent me that. It, it's kind of like one of those pre-printed things. Okay. It's not all like hand signed, but it, it's, it's Dude, cool nonetheless. We gotta nonetheless. get your real hand signed one, man. Yeah. You've also been a fan of F1 before F1 got big. And this is proof yeah. of it right here. Uh, 2019, me, my wife, and uh, Chance Adams and his wife, we went to the uh, US Grand Prix in Austin. And that was like before the, the Netflix show was really big. So it was, it was not super crowded. I mean, there's probably like 100 or 200,000 people. Now there's like 400,000 to go, but it was a cool experience. Dude, it's so wild because you catch Garrett Cole's fast balls and they're going 95 miles per hour from fast. And then you look at this and this is your view of all the cars and this is this is wild, man. Yeah, the TV doesn't do it justice how fast those guys are going. Going up the hill to turn one on uh, Circuit of the Americas, they're going from 185 miles an hour to like 30 to go around that hairpin and it's it's like in the blink of an eye. You, you think they're gonna just fly off the hill because it's uphill. I actually caught Charles Leclerc's first pitch yes. here. So that yep. was like full circle, kind of 
you know, I'm in my Ferrari gear over there and um, get to catch him and, and talk to him before the game. So that was awesome. All right, we're coming down the home stretch. Dude, what a sweetheart, man. Tell us yeah. about your dog. Uh, that's Millie. She's a half golden retriever, half Bernice mountain dog. She's uh, she's the best. Uh, we couldn't have been any luckier with, uh, you know, just her personality and just what a good dog she is. So if you're not at the baseball stadium, would we most likely find you hanging out with Millie? What are you guys uh, doing? She actually stays during the off season she's, at least. Oh yeah, during the off season, yeah. Um, she stays with my in-laws, so. But um, yeah, she's she's the best dog. Are you the dog <laughs> walker? Will we like see you around the streets with Millie? Uh, I usually take her to um, like some public land, and we just go off leash, and she runs she runs wild. Awesome. Last video that we got right here. Dude, a lot of nice land here for you to crush some homers off your wife. <laughs> yeah, that was another one during quarantine. We had to like get really creative on how to stay in baseball shape. And the only way I could basically take batting practice was having my wife feed the machine for me. And so uh, I was, you know, I was just having a little fun there, hitting a couple bombs off her and pimping it. Yeah, I was gonna say, I like <laughs> the one where you pimped it and just walked off. Yeah. We see all these awesome posts on your social media pages and we could tell that you're obviously a dog lover, family guy, uh, you work very hard. What would you say is your favorite part about social media when it does come to sharing all these different posts? I appreciate um, some of the interaction with the fans, you know, um, especially a lot of the um, the support I get. Um, Yankee fans have been, have been unbelievably kind to me and, and really good to me, so I couldn't be in a better position with you know this fan base and and just the support that i've been getting from them awesome and for everybody out there who's not following you just yet or maybe if you are and you <laughs> want some more kyle gashioka where can everybody follow you where do you want them to go and why should they follow you um i mean you can <laughs> <laughs> if you want you can follow me on instagram um that's usually where i post the most but i'm not like a super avid poster it's just every now and then i get the itch your quality quality over quantity I guess. My man. Kyle, thank you so much for having on feed, brother. Thanks, Matt.